All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahavashai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word, his sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Tazer Wall from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this lesson is going to be entitled, When He Drove Him Into His Net. When E Drove Him Into His Net. All right. So a brother sent me a video, not this one per se, but from this channel, which the channel of this video is uh, Locksmith Prophets of Doom. And, uh, you know, I went through the page to see if he had more edifying videos and I came across this one. And, um, you know, being that, you know, this is the beginning of Jacob's trouble and it's moving fast. You see in his protest is out here. Uh, you know, protesting for George, George Floyd. You know, you can clearly see now that it's all been staged, whether he dead or alive. But check this out. You know, here's a picture from The Simpsons where it says justice for George. That's what's that, Lisa? Um, justice for George. And you see the cop sticking his foot or maybe his knee. All right. On his this uh, so-called black man's neck, all right? So, you you know, man, when it comes to E, Edom, Esau, all right, he he, he, he pre-plans it, he stage it, all right? And um, he put it to work. But everything is done through the Lord, okay? Nothing is not done if the Lord don't allow it. And this is Bible prophecy, all right? Because eventually... You know, he's going to stand upon his feet. All right. As is written in Job. OK, because he's going to be in trouble on every side. You know, the Lord is going to gear shift this thing. All right. And turn it even against E, even against Esau. And he ain't going to have no control of this. All right. What what this devil is doing is breaking down this society, this this world, what you call America. And he wants to build it back up in the new world, in the new world order, okay? Where everyone be microchipped. So let's play some of this video. This is, I'm going to skip through it. And this is where, you know, military, you know, that militaries come into the city, man. I believe this is in Missouri. Um, they got this strict curfew now from the looting and the rioting. And, you know, it's a different ball game. All right. Now, when these military enter into all these cities... I heard that Target, all Target's going to be shut down. You know, there's going to be a ration of food. You're going to have to lean upon military to feed you. You know, they're going to open up these concentration camps, these guillotines, and all that, man. All right? Just as well we've been prophesizing about for all these years. It's now come to that. It's come to that. All right? They will force vaccines. They will force microchips. All right? And this thing is speeding up fast, man. All right, so like Elder Pastor Tahar said, you know, we could possibly be out of here real soon, man. This year, 2021, you know, we, 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 we're closer than we ever been, man. So. No, there's more. Look at this. They just keep coming. Minneapolis, all right, protests and unrest pass, pass curfew in Minneapolis, and you see that they're different from the police, they're going to shoot you with these rubber bullets, man, you know, so it's either what Trump, what Trump said, he said, um, when the looting start, then the shooting start, <laughs> you know, so I'm going to fast forward it, and I'm going to get to this point here, I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, and get straight to the point, you know. Now, this is what's going on within these protests. You got, I think it's called Antifa. You got this black 
uh, Lives Matter movement, which is brought and paid for by Soros, George Soros, you know, and these other um, these other agencies, you know, to basically, you know, interfere to bring forth rights. This is according, you know, they need this. They need this to have these military uh, here in the city, man, you know, because I'll say, you know, the mainstream media did a great job. Then, you know, a great job in scaring these two thirds about this, this C-19, this coronavirus thing. All right. And people were scared of the air. OK. But, you know, now because of looting and rioting, this is the reason to have boots on the ground occupied in your city and they ain't going nowhere. All right. This is going to be a new norm. So let's play this video. They put them there on purpose, yeah, I know where bro. They, they gonna set them on right up on the route. Yeah, y'all know what building this is Come right here. Now. I ain't even gonna say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where do them bricks go to? Where do them bricks go to? We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction. We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction around here. I see. Ain't no damn construction. Hey, check that out. You see, you know, bricks, bricks being lined up. At you know, the dude on the right, he said, uh. They're lined up on a rally point. So eventually the crowd, the protest is going to get to this point and have these bricks, you know, hand out, <laughs> you know, right in there, you know, to throw to basically take these bricks and bust these windows, man. You know, is this shit not staged, boy? Oh, my God, man. And this is just proves that Esau is the devil, man. All right. He, he draw you into his net. And I'm going to get that scripture in a minute. You know, I'll just play these few clips. I'll say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where do them bricks go to? Where do them bricks go to? We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction. We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction around here. I see. Ain't no damn construction around here. You just gonna set a pile of bricks right there. Oh, okay. Listen, I did jury duty three months ago. Y'all don't keep no bricks right there. Do better. It's called the culling. I spoke about this a few years ago. You wanna understand what's coming down the pipe? And this is gonna be for everybody. Okay? The person that talked about this was Dr. Label, Rita, Rima Label, okay? She spoke about this in 2001. She was told by a high society elitist. I, I've done my videos on this. A person in high society, a rich, wealthy, uber wealthy person that said that the culling was going to begin, okay? The culling begun September 11th, Okay? So what's going to happen now, martial law and minority communities are going to be taken out. You understand what I'm saying? You, you see how the whole United States is erupting? You saw that setup right there. Bricks just laid out for people to come pick up and throw it against, you know, um, government buildings and businesses. I saw another video from uh, Unicorn Riot. They were videotaping this cart full of bricks. Same bricks that you just saw there. In the area that was burned in Minneapolis. Were being set up. And it's not white supremacists going into that. that that's another narrative. That is the narrative that the elite are using to... Continue the divide. If you don't understand what I'm saying, then the next part, when everybody's going to be put into the FEMA camps, is on you. People are trying to warn you out here. Even the protesters themselves are recognizing what's happening. Slowly, but they're recognizing. I hope they recognize it soon enough. This, this whole thing ain't about the, how they're steering it. It's not about justice for George Floyd. It's not about justice for any other person. It's about leading us to this new system. And finally, people are, are, are kind of like looking at things in a different light, like this, like these guys right here. And other people that saw in other locations were being set up. Black and brown folks are being set up for the slaughter. A group of law enforcement agents. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right. And that's important because these are the last few days of mercy. All right. You know, if you're not in the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, 
you're going to be destroyed. All right. That's why we teach and we prophesize to the hopeful elect that they wake up and that the Lord seal them so that we can get on to our kingdom, man. Now, you got all these protesters and two thirds out here, you know, Jake, you know, out here, you know, tearing up shit. But, you know, if you're really sincere and uh, seeing justice, you need to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that will be the elect because the elect will. All right. So this is the way you do it. This is Second Chronicles chapter 7 and 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right. Not protest, man. We're not a part of that. We as Hebrew Israelites, not black Hebrew Israelites, but Hebrew Israelites, we're not a part of that. All right. We will never do that. That's nonsense. You know, you got to do is, as the scripture said, man, excuse me, as the scripture said, if my people, which are called by my name, which is Yasha Allah, shall humble themselves, you got to humble yourself. And pray. What is it? pray? Pray to who? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And seek his face. His face is the scriptures. His word. And turn from their wicked ways. All right. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right. So I want to go back to Psalms 10. And I'm going to start here at verse 4. It says, Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through his pride of his continence will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thou judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. And who is his enemies? Jacob. All right. Jacob. You so you uh, so-called minorities, melanated ones. All right. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos. Native Seminole Indians, West Indians, Haitians, all right, Mexicans, you know, you are the enemy of Esau because why? You are the, you are the sons of Jacob. It says, his ways are always grievous, thou judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Why he puff? Because he feel like he's a, you know, he's a proud man and he feel like he could never be taken out. So verse six, it says, he have said in his heart, I will not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. You see that his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Now, meanwhile, these folks were here, you know, to have a peaceful protest. But then Esau sent the wolves among them. <laughs> You know, he sent his wicked branches to uh, loot and riot to destroy that. All right. To do what? So that he can bring his military in there. OK. To put boots on the ground and to basically rule over you because we're in the transition of power. And right now, Esau in his mindset believes that we're going to be in this new norm of transhumanism. OK. Transhuman. He wants to put microchips inside of you. That's the that's the end of the deal. All right. You know, he's starting off with vaccines, but possibly, you know, doing the vaccines to be the chip at the same time. You know, I was watching a lot of videos earlier and, um, you know, and guys that were speaking on how these elites uh, were actually chipped already. I mean, we don't know for sure, but this is. What was being said, you know, and it makes sense, man. A lot of them been chipped, you know, already and been living, you know, their lives, you know, with this merge of uh, technology inside of them. And now they're trying to get the rest of the world on board. But according to prophecy, that's not going to happen. All right. So anyways, this is Psalms chapter 10, verse 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places do if he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. And that's Esau all the way, okay? Because what he do, it says he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. 
You know, he's always in a hideout watching you while you're not watching him. And it says in his secret places, do if he murdered the innocent. Because, you know, one secret place that I'm thinking of right now that he does is, is uh, those vaccines, man. All right. And his secret place, do he murder the innocent? Because why? When he sent off these uh, orders of vaccines and, you know, it's been going on for years with immunization shots and all that stuff. You know, kids me coming out with autism and different illness, even dying. You know, you can't point the finger to him. All right. You can't even point the finger at the doctor who gave your child those vaccines. And I'm just using that as an example far as his secret place. OK. So, you know, and the next thing you would do, you would probably sue, you know, and that would take a long time for you to even get, you know, get get some results. But meanwhile, suing, is that going to resolve the issue of your child, you know, or your loved one? Uh, either killed or have a disinformity, a dis disinformity now and things like that. Is it even worth it? So the scriptures say in the secret places do if he murdered the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. Who is the poor? Jacob. And that's why you see uh, now, you know, that they're, they're gunning, you know, for for the Israelites, man. And the poor, man, wherever Jake is at. They're going to send military, you know, hey. <laughs> This, hey, it's going to be a hot summer, man, a hot summer, because I was actually thinking, like, how can they keep this this fake hoax of this, you know, this fear of this C-19 alive all the way to October, you know? But meanwhile, Esau, he got a plan D, a plan E. He got a plan E, man. <laughs> he got a plan E, okay? Because I couldn't see... This C-19, through, through this hot summer, people wearing masks and gloves, and they're still scared of the air. So, you know, it makes sense now that they done pulled, they made their move and got military going through the cities now to stop so-called, these, well, these riots and things. And they're not leaving, all right? It's going to end up being a new norm. So anyway, verse 11, here's the point. It says, he lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his neck. And all this is was being drawn into Esau's neck. All right. All this rioting going across the world, well, going across the United States and Babylon the Great. This was his neck. He got you. He got you. Okay. I don't know why my internet. Well, here you go. He got you. It's acting slow, so. He got you. Now they got a reason. All right, to open up them concentration camps and force and do whatever they like. All right, so it says he lieth and wait secretly as a, a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He do of catch the poor when he draw him into his neck. He croucheth, he humble himself, that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Mm. He hath said in his heart, the Most High hath forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. And that's the problem with you Edomites, all right? Starting with you elites, you know, you think the Lord don't see you or the Lord don't hear you when you're in your secret meetings, you know, when you're in your, you know, secret meetings and with, with other uh so-called kings of the earth and y'all establishing this one order around the world. The Lord is in the midst of those meetings. His angels are there, man. All right. And the Lord have not forgotten. He have not forgotten his people and he have not forgotten that he gave this earth to you. All right. For a short time. So it says he have said in his heart, the most high have forgotten. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O power. Lift up thou hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore do if the wicked condemn, contemn the most high? He have said in his heart, thou will not require it. All right. So, yeah, man. You know, do the wicked contemn the most high, man? I think not. All right. It says thou hast seen it for thou hast beholdest mischief and spite. 
to require it with thy hand, the poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art an helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. O Lord, Yahweh is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. It says, Yahweh, has, 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 thou hast heard the desires of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart. Thou will cause thou ear to hear. To judge the fatherless and the oppressed. That the man of the earth may no more oppress. All right. And you Edomites have been oppressing us enough. You know, may the Lord get it on, man. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, Esau drawing you to his neck. This is a prime example. All right. Using these, uh, what they called peaceful protesters. They've been invaded with Esau's agencies. Okay. His, uh, his agents, man, to uh, loot and riot. And they've been caught red handed. You got police officers participating on in these agencies. All right, to start riots and looting, you know, <clears throat> and now the uh, boots are on the ground. Military is in, in the city. Strong, strict curfews like like we in war shooting you with rubber bullets. I'm not making this up, man. You know, this is this is today. me this might be an Edomite family it sound like they didn't care whether it was children or you know women he said light them up <laughs> light them up light them up <laughs> hey man all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai let me say that again all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Barakatai Yahweh Barakatai Yahweh Shai all right call halal la Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai man I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.